there, stampers. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers. Do you ever struggle making cards for kids? I know I personally do because I love nature and flowers and trees and all that stuff, but those cutesy kids cards, sometimes they're just I don't know, not the normal I make. Maybe someday I'll be a grandma and then I'll be able to make more of them. But I decided to pull out the stamp set called Turtle Friends. Now this is in the annual catalog and it has a coordinating punch. But let's just play with making these turtles. <gasps> I had so much fun. They were so fun to stamp and color and figure out how to put all the different parts and pieces together. They'd make great kids cards, but honestly, I sent one of the cards I made to my adult daughter the other day. I thought it was so cute. So really they're cute. For anybody so whether you need to make cards for kids or you're just looking for something a little bit more fun than the pretty trees and flowers you might really like the stamp set and all the fun possibilities with it so today I have three different cards to share with you I'm not going to make the whole card I'm gonna focus more on showing you how to stamp and punch and how to color the images on this and how to put like all these parts and pieces together to make some adorable cards so real quick before I flip the camera down if this is the first time you're watching me welcome I hope you like my projects I'm all about making quick and easy cards and don't always need a ton of supplies. So make sure you check out my website, clompandstampers.com, and I'll have a corresponding blog post for this video and the projects I'm sharing today. You'll find the link right down there, usually in the description, depending on your, uh, your device, but in the description of the video, there'll be a link that'll take you over to that blog post. And I'll have pictures of the cards I shared, all the details, list of supplies, and then if you'd like to place an order for any of the products, you can do that real easily over there as well. Now, don't forget, it is still celebration time. So if you place an order until up until September 30th, you get to get pick a free item from Stampin' Up! for every $50. Make sure you also use my host code, gather those frequent shopper points so that I can send you free stamp sets. So enough chit chat. I want to get stamping and playing with these cute little turtles. Let's go ahead, flip the camera down and let's get to work. Check out the stamp set. Turtle friends, we've got the big turtle and the two little turtles facing different ways. But I love that there's all these fun words. You're totally loved. Um, happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was so slow. I don't know. I like they're funny. I hope you enjoy them as well. But I love that it's time to celebrate. Happy birthday, forever friends. Great for all different occasions for kids. Or like I said, they're just fun for anybody. So what I want to do is kind of focus on how to put the turtle together with the different pieces. How to color them to make them look super cute and punch them out. And then I have three different samples that I'll share with you. So to color our little turtle, we are going to use Stampin' Blends. Um... I use these all the time. They are my favorite way to color. Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers. So they dry pretty quick and they blend really nice and they don't give you, you know, those streaky lines that regular markers do. Now in the Stampin' Up! catalog, you'll notice there's also Stampin' Right markers. That is a water-based instead of an alcohol-based. Honestly, I don't like to color with them unless it's just teeny tiny little areas. To color something as big as this turtle, it would get real streaky and you'd kind of like ball up the paper a little bit if you try to go over it too much. And the results are just not anything near what you can get with the Stampin' Blends. So if you're gonna color images, Stampin' Blends are the way to go. Now you do wanna make sure you use the Memento Black when you are coloring with Stampin' Blends. This ink will work with the alcohol markers. It won't smear um, and bleed. So you need to make sure you stamp with that. So we've got a nice dark image of our turtle there. And you know what? This is actually kind of scrap paper that we're stamping on today. Um, let's go ahead and stamp the two little guys while we're at it here. Because I want to just show you some fun things. Fun way to put these together, and then I'll show you the completed cards. So let's go to the big one first. Now with Stampin' Blends, they come in a set of two, light and dark. There is a more brush end, a bigger end, and then there's the um, more bullet end. I tend to use the bullet end more, except for the great big areas. So in this case, let's go ahead and we'll start with it. Um, I, to me, because it's more of a brush soft tip, I feel like you can't get quite as close to the edges. So what I like to do is, you know, get that big part and then let's just come in here with the bullet part. And I am gonna just kind of 
come right up to that line. You don't really want to go over the lines. Um, come right up to it. And you want to work at coloring section by section. Oops, we're turning. I like to turn it around so it's um, the right angle for me. So I'm always spinning my cardstock around. But I started with the light. And then I'm going to take the dark. And now some people I know do it opposite. They'll start with... Um, with dark and add some highlights and then go over it with light. So it's really kind of a personal preference. It's like you gotta play with them to see what works for you. So I went ahead and I put some of that dark and now I'm gonna come back with my light and you can see, I kind of call it scrubbing. We're just doing all these little circles. We're going over it. We're blending those colors. Um, kind of the beauty of the, the alcohol markers when you're using the, the basic white, which they're designed to work really good with that, you can layer these colors on top of each other and over and over and over. That dark's pretty dark, so we're just going to keep kind of going over it. And as I put light on top of light, you know, my areas get darker. We'll bring some of that in there. And you can just see how we can keep going over and over. It's not hurting my paper. And these, the colors dry pretty quick, and you'll just see that nice kind of blended look. So while we're coloring, let's come in here. That tail's kind of little, so we'll put, let's put a little bit of dark down at the base and color it. But like I said, you want to work section by section because you don't want that alcohol to completely dry because then they're not going to blend as nice. So here we're going to do kind of the back of his foot, and then we'll do the toenails is that what you call them on turtles oh, i don't know claws toenails we'll bring the light color in we'll continue to do that here so we'll do each leg um you can see put in that light bring in some dark and then i am going to go ahead and just continue coloring here and finish him up and i'll just speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do all the coloring so I'll be right back talking as soon as we do the speedy turtle <laughs> coloring job here. There we go. So he is all colored. Now when you put your lids on, make sure you hear that snap. Push them down on the table. Um, you should always close these as quick as you can so they don't dry out on you. Now the fun part about the turtle is we can stamp, it's time to celebrate on top of it, or you can go ahead and stamp his shell. So what the light, look I liked, let's see, this pad's pretty juicy here, is we use granny apple grain, and then I'm stamping with old olive right on top of it, and look at how awesome that shell just kind of pops on there. Now these guys, I could color the exact same way, but I'm not gonna waste your time. I've shown you how to color. Um, I wanna get to the finished products, but I wanna show this fun. Because these are photopolymer, it's real easy to stamp them on top of each other. So I, I thought this little bird was super cute as well. So let's set him aside and let me show you, oh wait, I'm sorry, we forgot to do the punch. So the punch, We'll slide right in here and punch our little turtle out. So it's great just for layering on a simple card. When you punch him out and pop him up, he looks adorable. So let's take a look here. So the very first card I made when I started playing with the stamp set is this one. And you can see here's the turtle I punched out. I did um, cut out the bow tie. There's that little bow tie in there because I thought that was cute. And it made a cute birthday, or not birthday, but baby card. Hello, little one. There's our small little turtle. And then on the inside, you're totally loved. And here's where I stacked those two because I wanted to show you how easy it was to add those on top of each other. Now, for all three of these that I have to share, these are the note cards and envelopes. And then I just layered some basic white and some black on top of it. And I'll have all the dimensions with the pictures over on that website for you. So then, again, we're just playing with a bunch of different ones. Here, I did not pop it out. I kind of struggled because with this hat, I didn't feel like hand cutting it. So it looked kind of funny if the turtle was popped up and then the the um, hat was stamped down there. So I thought, well, we just won't punch them and stamp them. So we've got, it's time to celebrate. Everything's flat, no dimensionals on there. And then again, that you're totally loved on the inside. So there's those two. And then my third one, again, he's popped up and we've got the happy belated birthday on there. These little confetti things were part of the stamp set as well. And here I popped them up on the inside. 
depth. I like that dimension. So I thought that just adds so much, you know, no one says we can't pop stuff up on the inside as well. So it's time to celebrate. So there you have three fun cards that are great for kids or for anyone. I think they just put a smile on someone's face. Ah, thank you, so cute. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. And again, check out my blog post. You'll see pictures, the measurements or card recipes, like I like to call it, as well as all the products that I use. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll be back stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.